What's up, I'm Kyle, and this is the Vervet Forest. Today, I thought I'd address a question that many of you have asked in the past. How do we tell one monkey from another? Thank you to all of my patrons, and especially Australia, Fast Out, Janet Franciscovich, Jim and Linda, and Chuck and Die. A lot of you have asked this question, and the truth is, it's as simple as just getting to know what each monkey looks like. We look at identifying factors, like brow lines, coloration on the face, scars, body types, tails, things like that. I'll get into those specifics in a second. First, I just want to make the point that there's no right or wrong way to remember who a monkey is. You're just going to figure out your own way, and as long as you're getting it right, that's all that matters. I personally start with context. What I mean is, I look at where I am, what troop I'm at. Am I looking at Coco Troop monkeys or Goliath monkeys? You know, that really narrows things down because then you know that there's only certain monkeys that could be in those troops. Context is first. Next are the more broad, quick-to-take-in identifiers. How many arms and legs does the monkey have? That's a good place to start. And they don't always have as many as you'd expect. Is it a male or a female? Is it young or old? Is it big or is it small? Is it fat or is it skinny? How thick is the monkey's tail? Is the tip of the tail dark? Is there a kink in it? Or is it missing the tip entirely? What about the color of a monkey's fur? Is it missing any fur? The ears are also really great. Sometimes they have notches or tags or pieces missing. All of that stuff is fair game to help you identify a monkey. If you still don't know who the monkey is after going through that quick and easy checklist, then the next and best way to tell one monkey from another is the face. Just like people, all vervets have unique faces. Just like people, some vervets can look like other vervets, but in the end of the day, no two vervets look exactly the same. This is Casanova. She lives in Coco Troop. Her face is pretty unique amongst vervet standards simply because of her brilliant white mustache. So these are some facial features you can use to distinguish a vervet. Casanova has got a bit of pink around her eyes, not a light pink, but a darker pink. She's got a thick brow line, which is this white fur above her eyes. She also has a unique notch in her brow line on the left side of her face, and she has very intense sideburns. Now let's look at Emily, who's from the Bandit Troop. You can probably see a lot of differences between these two. Emily has a bit of a mustache, but it's thin, and only on the sides of her lips. The pink around her eyes is lighter and more blotchy. Her brow line is much thinner and sort of does this wave shape, and her dark skin goes up higher and curves a bit over her eyes. Whereas with Casanova, the brow is very flat and thick. In general, Casanova is a bit more broad. Emily is more slender, and Emily also has those small scars on her face. Let's look at Ewok. Ewok is Emily's mom. I think you can see some similarities, but you can also see the differences. Ewok has got a tiny little mustache, same sort of long, narrow facial structure. Her sideburns are a bit more pronounced than Emily's. She's got a bit of pink around her eyes. Her brow line is very flat with medium thickness, and the dark skin between her eyes is very thick and broad compared to Emily and Casanova. Now let's add Grouch, another bandit, just for fun. Her face is flat and wide, with dusty pink around the eyes. Her brow is thin on the sides and thick in the center and looks furrowed, like she's always angry. And if you notice, her lip arches up into a scar, giving her a bit of a snarl. As you can see, all four of these monkeys look very different from another when compared side by side. With the babies, it's the same sort of thing as the adults. The hardest part about identifying a baby, though, is simply the fact that they grow up so fast and they change so much, and they go through such similar phases that it can be easy to mix them up, which is why context becomes very crucial in the identification of the babies. The first thing you look at with a baby is their size. Like Gabe and Leo, for example. Gabe is on the right, Leo is on the left, and it would be extremely difficult to mix these two up. But let's look at two monkeys that you could say look similar to each other. Baba Cool and Foxy. From this angle, you can't really tell, but Foxy was more stout and Baba Cool was more lean. But with these two photos, they look pretty similar. So I'm just going to point out the things that I see that I think are unique between the two of them. First off, Foxy has a wide face that goes into like this wide jaw, whereas with Baba Cool, she's got a very slender face that goes into an even more narrow jaw. 
Foxy's nose is starting to darken, while Baba Cool's nose is very pink. Foxy's brow line is broad and flat, and her face and forehead are two different colors. Whereas Baba Cool's brow line is dark and points downward, and her forehead just sort of goes on forever. Let's look at Elena, who I kind of think is like a mixture of Foxy and Baba Cool. She's got a really unique face, these really wide cheeks and this very narrow chin, and then her face is darkening, and her brow line all sort of meets in the center, and then she's got these lips that are in this perpetual smirk. And then of course there's a baby like Vera, who is just so teeny tiny that it's hard not to recognize exactly who she is. Now looking at these side by side, I'm sure you can see the differences. Of course, the appearance of a monkey like a person changes over time, especially with the babies. If you're not with them on a regular basis, you can easily lose track of who's who, which is why we chip all of the monkeys when they first arrive. Each monkey has a chip put into them, and they have their own personal identification code. All you have to do is scan that chip, and it tells you who the monkey is. So if the monkey ever needs to be pulled out of the troop for some reason, we can scan the monkey and be sure of who it is. And if they ever want to buy drinks at the bar, they get a discount. It's always going to be harder to recognize the babies and adults from video to video because lighting and setting and time changes everything. But I hope this has helped, and if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and thanks for watching.